Which statement is true about SN1 and SN2 reactions? Starting with A, the rates of SN1 reactions depend on steric factors. I'm going to stop right there. So steric factors, that is pretty much telling me if something is bulky or not. Like if I were to have a tertiary alkyl halide, is that going to work with an SN1 reaction? Well, remember, they actually favor tertiary over anything else, so that doesn't really make sense. We want something to be bulky. We want something to be tertiary. So that doesn't make sense. Another thing, while the rates of SN2 reactions depend on the electronic factors, and electronic factors are talking about resonance or inductive effects, things like that. It's anything within those bonding electrons. So think of this as electrons. Think of this as steric hindrance. But this statement didn't make sense for SN1. That's a no. Moving on to B, SN1 reactions proceed more readily with a tertiary alkyl halide substrate, that's right, while SN2 reactions proceed more readily with the primary alkyl halide substrate, that's also right. I would say yes, so far that is our best option. Let's just keep going. Rearrangements are possible, oh, wait, not for both. They are only possible for SN1, not for SN2, that's out. What about D? SN1 reactions proceed via a carbocation intermediate, that's true, while SN2 reactions proceed via a carbocation intermediate, wait, no. Under certain conditions, no, that's not true. Our only option is B.